Some of you might be familiar with Google Cloud sustainability commitments. And as an organization, we have been carbon neutral since 2007. It is our mission and responsibility to continue to lead and enable organizations to transition to a more carbon-free and sustainable technologies. Our smart and energy efficient data centers allow us to do exactly just that. Hi, I'm Sophie Wong, a field sales manager at Google Cloud. Today, I'm very excited to take you on an exclusive behind the scenes at our data center in Singapore. Joining me is Jacqueline Tan, our data center technician. Hi, Sophie, it's very nice to meet you. Hi, Jacqueline, nice to meet you too. Just for our audiences, Jacqueline, can you share a little more about your role here? Absolutely. As a data center technician, I'm what some may call a machine doctor. So whenever our servers have an issue, I go down to take a look at what parts need fixing. As someone who spends a lot of time in our data center, I know this place pretty well. I'm so happy to be here with you. It's exciting to see the data center in person, which powers much of what we do at Google Cloud for all our customers. To create services that you use every day, like Google Search, Google Maps, and YouTube, and enable them to serve billions of users at the same time. Google has achieved a phenomenal level of security, scalability, and reliability on our internal IT infrastructure, which is underpinned by data centers just like this. When we asked ourselves, what if we could provide the same level of security, scalability, and reliability to enterprise customers? This is how Google Cloud started. Jacqueline, as we're walking around, one thing I noticed very interestingly is that this is a multi-story building unlike any other data centers we have around the world. Can you tell me more about it? Yes, this is completely unique to Singapore. As our land is so scarce, we pioneered the first multi-story data center in our global fleet. Did you know we make use of machine learning to reduce energy usage? And this means we are able to do more with less energy. Despite Singapore's hot and humid environment, our data center's power usage effectiveness is currently 1.13, which means nearly all of the energy we use is for computing rather than things like cooling. Jacqueline, besides the building infrastructure, how else is our local data center unique to Singapore, especially in relation to our impact on our nation's sustainable development plan? I'm personally most excited by our sustainability initiatives. Apart from reducing our power consumption through machine learning, we also run our cooling systems entirely on recycled water. We practice sustainability at every level, and that includes our staff pantry, where you can see that everything is completely plastic free. And as a local, I also cannot help but notice all the Singaporean colourful motifs all around. Good catch! From having recognisable landmarks of Singapore in our meeting rooms to a huge mural of historic Boat Quay, I enjoy these local touches as well. Working in this space gives me a huge sense of pride. Thank you so much, Jacqueline, for the tour today. What a privilege it is that we got a sneak peek behind the scenes. And one thing's for sure that this data centre is iconically Singapore. Definitely agree with you there, Sophie. Our data centres aptly reflect both our commitments to Singapore and the planet. The sustainability agenda is a priority and imperative every organisation across the private and public sectors in Singapore and the region. Wherever you are in your sustainability journey, Google Cloud is here to partner and enable you to accelerate your green ambitions. Until next time, we'll see you then.